Welcome to another backyardology. Oh. Today we are going back into the wild. But it's in our backyard. Once again. There. I will meet you when my dad comes back. So see you later. In a minute, I'll be back. Cool. Alright, hey guys, we are back. There you go. And this is Backyardology Wilderness Survival. So we've, we've stepped away from kitchen science for a while, and now we're doing survival skills. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I'm sharing with the... the you get a better intro? Are you... Is that what you're I'm trying to do? I'm challenging, yes. You, so right now, me? we're trying to do the traditional uh, flint and steel fire starting. It's going to be a little bit. So what we have... A pile of sticks. We have, a rock circle. Yep. And then we have some sticks in here. We, we have got some kidling. So the goal is to use flint and steel to try to get enough of a spark to get to blow into a flame so then we can we can get the, the sticks going. So this is new. Well, this is new for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this over here to the side and we're, we're gonna try a couple different options. And we just have a cool little tinder or a flint and steel kit. No, 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 leave it, right. leave so it, that okay. Time. So when you do this, this right here, what you do, again, you see the sparks? Okay. So this right here, in terms of your, your, your flint, and this is your steel. That's why we're here. So this is cotton. We just found some cotton. Let's try some cotton. Okay. And let's see if we can get it going. I mean, this is, this is hard stuff, so. Oh! Let me do this. Feeding it. Just trying to get get the little stuff. And there you have it. You have a, a fire which was started so with flint and steel and cotton, which we realized is is super flammable, super flammable. So that was now you're not going to have cotton. Listen, you're not going to have cotton in the wild. You're not going to find like a cotton tree. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're gonna, you can use wolf skin, probably. Well, you'll find lint in your pockets, or you'll find little wolf little pieces of, uh, uh, of of cloth or or things. Um, and then you got to use the grass. And, and we also have, like I said, we have this rope here that we we frayed down, which we could also do. So, so this is the beginning of our series on, like I said, wilderness survival in the backyard. Um, where we're going to do some, some skills. We'll do some knot tying. Maybe we'll, we'll make a shelter out here. Wouldn't that be cool? You want to make yeah, a shelter? Yeah, is it? Yeah.